five. And hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today we're playing Backgammon. Okay. Uh, today, what is today? Today is April 7th. Good evening, Catholic traditionalist. How are you doing? Let me bring out uh, my chat here. I've got the text large so I can read it because I'm sitting a little bit further away from the computer. The computer is right across from me. So you got <laughs> playing against you guys, I guess. You guys are sitting where the opponent usually uh, sits. Dragons, how are you doing? What's up, guys? How is life for everyone? Um, yeah, today's so January, uh, sorry, April 7th, 2020. Okay. And uh, just to let you guys know, we do have a playlist. And I'm going to let me post this on the chat. Backgammon playlist. Okay. And I started this playlist, I don't know, back in 2014 or something, right? Where basically the first backgammon related video that I put out was uh, this video here where I was showing you my grandmother's backgammon board so it's full on asmr and i'm just showing you it's a beautiful board we have played thousands of games on that uh, on that board through the last 60 70 years right it's the oldest board that we have in the family and uh, that's the video that i showed you guys the board on hello swiss how are you doing and uh, what we ended up doing was playing six rounds with grandma Hello, X, how are you doing? Uh, six rounds, best of five with grandma. Okay, Huckleberry win, how are you doing? Hope, uh, hope life is treating you well. Hey, Chicho and chat. Um, so we played best of five, six rounds. And one of the reasons we played this was because I wanted to collect all the data, the, the, the numbers, random rolls that we were getting, right? And if you're curious, uh, this is my grandma. This is, uh, let me crack this up, crack this up. That's my grandma down there, okay? Hey, Chicho, Nicholas, how you doing? So glad I came for this. Missed backgammon, hope your uh, gran is well. My gran is well. Uh, I haven't been able to see her, man, I miss her, right? Because I, I play backgammon with her um, every two weeks. And we, I used to play backgammon with her like multiple times a week, but I, since my move to a new city, I was playing every two weeks when I went back to Vancouver. Uh, for last few years uh, sometimes every week i would go back and we haven't been able to play and she really misses the games man uh i make phaser ale phaser ale i'm not sure what that is uh luna hello wow how old is she she's 94 i think <laughs> she still kicks my ass sometimes and we did some live streams with her playing backgammon okay and this is our backgammon playlist by the way you'll find all of our backgammon games on that playlist i'll have the link in the description of this video for those that are watching it on youtube or bit shoot okay doing all right given the circumstances best wishes to you and yours awesome thank you very much i'll call you as well of course everyone in chat and everyone around the world really right so those are some of the games i showed you guys my uh, my grandmother's board i've actually shown you guys my board as well okay uh, martin confession i don't know how to play uh, back in a uh, brother you should learn uh, I'm gonna give you a little tutorial in this live stream I'm gonna do one round of uh, game uh, and just me playing against myself and then we're gonna play together you guys tell me what to move on I'm just gonna roll for you guys right so that's the plan anyway we'll see where it goes and one of the reasons we're doing this I got into making the backgammon videos is because it's related in a big way huge way to mathematics right as you know um, making the backgammon or a lot of mathematics videos and I want numbers tables and all that jazz right so I put out a video even before the backgammon video showing the probability distribution for a set of two die right okay so it's just a graph sort of a distribution and we're gonna look into this a lot further right because it's all about probability and that's a huge branch of mathematics that was developed throughout history right and this is the graph that we looked at with uh, what the distribution of two six-sided die are right and 
obviously you can play a lot of games with backgam uh, with dice right and one other game that i've played a lot is craps both in casinos and the street version the street version we haven't played very much we play we had it we had it going for a few months when we we're playing monopoly during the down periods uh but craps straight up craps i've played a lot in casinos that was a game i used to go to so at some point we're going to create a playlist on how to play craps and the probability distribution there as well okay aside from that just to let you know who i am where where you can find us uh, i do have a patreon page okay so you will find all the information on patreon the videos that we post and sometimes a little discussion on patreon questions being asked um, for those that are supporting me through patreon thank you very much for the for the support how 404 thank you very much for the support very much appreciated there's been a few people that have jumped on board in the last few weeks okay lolo how are you doing hello everyone plus one for the craps tutorials yeah i cannot wait and that table that you see me sitting behind that's a table i made i bought the cloth and i made the table and not only we used to go to the you know i graduated into craps at some point if you go to the casino you graduate into craps okay i did anyway uh it's one of the most active games and it's brilliant right but we used to play at home as well i used to hold i used to hold home crap games sort of underground poker and crap games so that's the table i made for people to come and play crafts at our house <laughs> okay and at some point we're gonna hit it up we're gonna hit it up for sure right uh so for those of you scrolling through patreon thank you very much for the support it's a great way to support this work okay my kids love the simplified crafts you explain they want to know the real deal oh yeah no kidding i can't wait to get into it i just have to create a few other math videos so i can reference them and it's all related to series four which is units and conversions and stuff like this it's been on a back burner for a while i need to i need to i mean it's related to patreon i need to kick up the funding a little bit because i have to dive into that stuff full load okay nice you ran a gambling there to a certain degree <laughs> it wasn't it was just friends and word of mouth that went out at the most we had two poker tables going with seven people on each table one was a kitty table and kitty meaning the, the funds being exchanged weren't that much and the second one is the grown-ups version and there was a lot of funds being traded there and sometimes people that would get knocked off the bigger uh, pots uh, bigger aunties would go down to the smaller table and play there because that was the game right uh, it was fun it was fun the table from the games collect the table from the games collection martin there's a sort of simplified craps version i explained during that game okay chicho is a man <laughs> i just like math and anything anything that layers math right and math layers everything so i like uh, i i find the uh, pleasure in many things as long as i can link it up to the mathematics of it right i never had a great appreciation for how interesting crafts is until i developed an online version of the game for aol early in my career oh no way catholic traditions so many different ways to so many different ways to bet each roll the roll of the dice right you could roll something and there's four different games being played on that roll five different games being played six different games being played so on a crafts table you could have a craps table full full would be like i don't know you have like 10 people around the craps table 12 people 10 11 12 people around the craps table and you can you could have seven different games being played on every roll right and the mathematics is brilliant on it so much fun so much fun okay uh aside the this is becoming a nice chat intro to the whole thing right uh patreon is where we're at i'm sort of going to start using that as the blog and start sharing more information okay uh and obviously for those that are supporting through patreon uh is the same sort of offer as those who are joining through youtube and supporting me uh and everybody here and discord and following if you guys have recommendations suggestions requests let us know we'll try to put some stuff together okay we are live streaming this on twitch for those watching live uh, jet how are you doing for those watching live the reason we're doing this because i'm mentioning this is because we are going to be uploading this to youtube and bit you still play it on the 
you you still playing on the workout oh for sure nicholas i have the workout stream uh, scheduled in this set i forget when we're gonna do it uh but if you go to discord on our schedule folder um it's there i'm pretty sure we're doing uh, uh the fitness i'm gonna run you through what i do as my morning exercise routine one of the things i do the exercises all you need is therabands and i use two five pound weights i want to graduate to 10 pounds but i'm using five pounds still two of them okay is that the food uh, for tonight the, i'll show you what the <laughs> what the munchies is okay uh we do announce these live streams on twitter gabs mine vk and elo those are the five sort of announcement social sites that i'm on because i am decentralizing everything right now we are uploading these things on youtube and bitchute uh, everything on bitchute almost everything on youtube we'll see how the sensors continue to you know youtube's algorithms automation and sensors uh keep on knocking things off um we'll see how much we can share on youtube we are being demonetized and stuff like that on youtube but that being said we just got approved for youtube membership so if you are following us through youtube membership is also a great way to support this project okay uh you can find a little join button on the videos or on the home page and name of the game right now we're in a pandemic everybody in lockdown flatten the curve don't overwhelm your healthcare systems because you might need their help uh, to save your life or someone you care about okay so show a little respect keep your physical distancing you can be social online the way we are right now but remove a little bit of stress it's the best thing to do i think uh, excellent my fitness has gone to ruin since lockdown need to get back at it and i always sort of went the opposite i've sort of become a little bit more active i'm just more energy right <laughs> because i'm not going out as much so i got lots of energy being built up i need to release it right uh dragons yeah i'm losing my deadbeat uh dad bud <laughs> dragons i use trx and resistance bands trx i don't know what trx is hey connor how are you doing will show by the way how are you welcome to another live stream fitness stream will be um on april 18th according to our schedule okay awesome and april 18th is when is that april 18th that's next saturday not this saturday wow on a saturday let me show you our snacks let me take all these guys down okay i'm just going to take down all these Boop. i'll start off from these guys we'll go in order so again board game that was a first craps video uh first backgammon video we put out it's available on a backgammon playlist we played six rounds with grandma and there's my grandma hi grandma how are you doing i wish she knew how to live stream I, or, or get online and stuff like this she would love to see this right now okay but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get my uh, uh family members to show her that video <laughs> hi grandma but if uh and then check this out this is our dice we put out and that's the distribution and here's the quick version of the uh, craps game keep your physical distance flatten the curve there's a youtube bit shoot twitter twitch and of course patreon <laughs> nice intro lots of stuff to say right let me show you what i got as snacks i went out to shop today i saw no one another 700 plus victims in the uk oh uh, deaths in the uk 700 just in today brutal these are walnuts right now what i did was uh soak i mentioned last time i soaked these these walnuts in water so they're easier to digest this is something that i learned that the persian community does a lot a lot and it's you can break it easy right and it's softer so it's really nice i heard boris went into critical lockdown as well right or not lockdown the icu autumn olive liqueur on the rocks 
phenomenal really really good and we've got a liqueur with video coming out i think a live stream coming out uh this weekend maybe we got we got we got we got let me make sure everything's okay with the stream yeah looks to be i'm just gonna do a little refresh here check this guy out this is this is applesauce that i made uh like a about three weeks ago or so and these are uh, uh whole wheat coconut flour honey chocolate chip walnut cookies okay because of the coconut flour they're dry boris johnson will try out martin <laughs> because they're dry they go amazing with the applesauce and they're very crumbly it's like apple crumble like you can do this right it breaks apart and you just mix it up with a little bit of apple right really it's crazy good so freaking good so freaking good seven people in your town have it it's scary times for sure scary times for sure what comes after though is going to be also pretty intense because of the laws and the draconian powers that centralized power has co-opted really so we have to keep a close eye on that okay my four-year-old is thrilled to be watching this and that you're eating <laughs> super delicious if i could share it with you i would really this is uh, the recipe by the way for these cookies it's basically the same recipe i had where we had the video with um how to make honey chocolate chip cookies okay um i just used a uh, more coconut flour so it made it drier and <laughs> it's really good like super good <laughs> x i'd send some of your way if i could that sounds incredible killer snacks today I'm loving it that liqueur sound this liqueur is amazing really super good super good the wise sage how are you doing hi chicho and everyone on chat iron smash hey chicho have you heard of uh cicada 3301's a potential resurgence in terms of recruiting extremely intelligent people i i don't know that iron uh, smash haven't heard anything about it do you play the board games with chat we're going to okay so so far we got two people here that haven't played the game right I think at least in the states this will show that an overhaul of our healthcare system is necessary tons of people are getting sick and nothing being uh, being able to get healthier yeah for sure i think around the world really so three people so far at least okay check this out let me give you four people okay you guys got to learn how to play back hello always be making here's our backgammon playlist okay now I show the board I've, I've shown how to play the game uh, there's live streams of me and my grandma playing backgammon there's videos that I shot of me and my grandma playing backgammon with the dice it took me a long time to edit those videos by the way I had the videos these ones here like check this out I went a little overboard on them these six rounds of games that we played so I don't know how many games there are some of them are nine games some of them were you know five games somewhere anywhere between five to nine games right whenever i was rolling it i was on the side on the top you would see the dice that came up so i did the whole video like that it took a long time to edit because we're going to tabulate all this information right and there's sort of instructions but i'm going to give you guys a little rundown on how to play the game right growing up backgammon was the box um blocking risk box blocking red oh no i don't i like the amount of games backgammon games i've played in my life i don't know what it would be into now uh it's the earliest 
game really that I learned how to play. We'd sit down on people's laps and watch, you know, parents, grandparents, watch them play. We'd stand at the corner when we were like this high, like wee, 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 this high, and look over to, you know, get on our tiptoes to see what dice that we're rolling. Okay. So let me show you how to play the game. Now, the colors of these things are a little faded. This is an old game we've had in the family for, I don't know, 50 years or something. The board is a beautiful board. My grandma's board we've had for like, really, I think it's like 80 years, like 75 years, right? Name of the game is this. When we sit like this, I'm the black, you guys would be the whites, okay? They are a group that form, okay, I'm gonna, uh, Iron Smash, I'm gonna pass this, I'm gonna focus on the game so people can chit chat. I'm gonna, just gonna give you instructions of how to play backgammon, okay? So, I would be the black, you guys would be the white, okay? Objective of the game is for me to bring all my pieces here, okay, and then remove them off the table. For you, the objective would be to move this way and bring all the pieces here and remove all your pieces, okay? And the way you remove the pieces is these numbers that you see here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on my side. And for you as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So you want to bring all your pieces into 1 to 6 and pull them off. I need to bring all my pieces to 1, one to 6 here and pull them off, right? Are you talking about da, da, da. hey chicho man the stream froze on me as you were talking about the walnuts lava did you say they're soaked in something yeah they're soaked in water twitching jason so i soak them in water just to make it easier to digest it so it's not as hard on the tummy okay now walking one hour a day one hour a day nice martin nice nice um so this is the way it basically works you roll the dice, right? If you get doubles, you can play four of what you rolled. If you don't get doubles, you play one of each one you rolled, right? So for example, by the way, tell me how the sound is here. I'm gonna roll the dice. Hopefully it's not too loud. So I'm just gonna roll the dice here and I'm gonna roll it here. You guys tell me how the dice rolling is. Cool, Leo, how you doing? Are they equivalent okay if they're equivalent then i'll just roll on both same awesome so i was only gonna roll here but i'll roll in both i like rolling on both sides right they sound the same awesome awesome and not too loud i'm assuming it's okay sound right sounds fine okay awesome so let's check this out i'm gonna i rolled both ways too bro yeah you have to. I roll all over the place. I don't care if the dice rolls here or here. They just have to land flat on the board. If they roll on the pieces, it doesn't count. If they roll on the ledges here, if they get stuck there, it doesn't count. It has to be flat on the main part. Okay? Now, let me roll a dice and I'll show you how the movement goes, right? Usually we roll to see who goes first. So I'm going to roll. Okay, I get a two. You guys roll, and you get a one, so I get to roll first, right? So I'm going to roll my dice. Remember, name of the game is, for me, headphones are loud, but okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, Martin. Uh, turn down the headphones a little bit, I think. This looks better than Scooby Doom Monopoly. <laughs> so check this out. I have my two pieces here. I want to five pieces here, three pieces here, and five pieces here. I want to bring everything here. Okay, so I'm going to roll the dice. I get five and a three. Okay, let me put these here so you see. I got five and a three, right? Now from here, one, two, three takes me to this spot. One, two, three, four, five takes me to this spot, but I can't land here. So if there's any spots, for example, here, if there's two of the opponent's piece on a specific spot, you can't go there. It's locked, right? If there's one, you can hit that person, and that person comes up here, and they have to start here, okay, and make their way back again, okay. You'll, you'll see how it goes. I'm sort of jumping all over the place with the rules, but you'll see how the game goes. The best way to learn backgammon is to watch backgammon being played, really. It's the best way to learn backgammon. 
Quinn. Hey, Chicho, how's it going? Finally able to make another. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, Quinn. How's the board set at start? This is exactly the way how the board is set at start. Okay. So there are some natural plays that you end up doing at the beginning of the game. They're just optimum plays. And what you in general want to do. Okay. So you go and then uh, chat goes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Right. But before we do that, I'm going to play one round against myself because I'm going to play, play rapid. You'll see how the game goes once I go through a little explanation here. OK, and then we'll play. OK, I'm going to kick your ass, by the way. <laughs> so check this out. One of the first rolls you get, right, is if you roll a five and a three, you want to go. Uh, is this in an Iranian game? It's uh, I, did it originate from Iran? Challenge accepted, Coolio says. It, it might be. Okay, I would say Babylon. Babylonian. Chicho versus the Chichonians. <laughs> nice. And by the way, this is the way we should do the movements when you're going to say you want something moved. Because you're coming from this side to this side, right? Give the this number first and then this number. So the movement goes this way. So, for example, actually, we'll, we'll go over that once we clarify it right one two four yeah one to four uh one to two six to four eight to exactly that's exactly what we're gonna do. martin is a code breaker so i think that's the way to go persian or mesopotamia yeah i say babylonian to a certain degree its history can be tracked back nearly five thousand years to archaeological discoveries in persia or mesopotamia awesome be be this thank you very much for the twitch, twitch prime sub okay so one of the natural plays you would have with five and a three would be this one two three four five and three right so you zap this spot hope you're doing well doing doing well brother thank you very much right so keep in mind if these two die are two apart and if your pieces are two apart you're guaranteed to be able to block a spot right this will be my first backgammon game, so I'm going to uh, lean heavily on the hopes there are smarter people in chat. Uh, backgammon is not about smartness. Backgammon is about... Uh, it's, I, I consider backgammon to be the closest game to life because it involves uh, skill and it involves luck. If we're both on the same skill level, then luck surpasses also triumphs really also you can manipulate the other person to make mistakes right so you can it's very emotional game or it could be a very emotional game okay not as much as the dip, uh, diplomacy but you end up teasing each other and you know trying to get the best game out of that person or throw them off yeah my mind is number master nice salute gang MTG. I don't know what MTG is. How does it compare to chess? A uh, different game than chess. Uh, chess doesn't involve luck. Chess involves mistakes. So does backgammon, right? In general, you win. Mag oh, Magic Gathering. Okay, Magic the Gathering too. If you're born rich, you win. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You can buy all the, all the cards, right? <laughs> the expensive cards. Uh, as far as chess and backgammon, I used to play a lot of chess. Uh, when I was younger as well but chess doesn't have that luck element chef chess depends on your opponent on making a mistake in general if you're on the same level right backgammon does as well but backgammon a person can turn it around and really the dice just go crazy sometimes and watching dice go crazy is amazing backgammon is a lot about playing probability very much so and it's about this thing right uh this distribution right this is the thing that we made the video of this video and talked about the probability of dice right uh and luck there's a lot of luck involved in the game hey chicho how you doing currently playing pokemon on my ds <laughs> haven't played in it in years but thought i'd break out of playing nice nice what are the Pokemon he does? I understand that, but I don't know anything about backgammon. You're about to learn, and it's brilliant. So that's one rule I would do, right? 
let's say the white is rolling now you guys would be it right so you guys roll you get three and a one right now think about what you're going to do with a three and a one okay three one remember these things are two numbers apart right the difference is two so if you have any pieces that are two apart that means you can lock up a spot right so check this out one two three so you would say eight to five and six to five three and one so you blocked off this spot so now if i get a five and a four this guy is stuck it can't move right i can try to figure out how to piece i roll four and a three right this guy can't go four right because it goes one two three four it can't go there that's already locked up it could go three right so there's a three i have there the four if i go three here the four is one two three four i can't go there right am i going to open that up maybe but i don't think so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this i'm going to go one two three four and then i'm going to go one two three i'm just going to bring a piece from there to here okay you guys roll four five right from here to here is a five one two three four five that's not a bad move and a four here is not a bad move right so one two three four or you could go four here and then one two three four five all right come over here you try to run if i get a three on the next roll i zap you okay but if i was you i would do this because if you get another two dice that are close together like two difference you could zap a spot here but you would leave this open if you have to use this up so it's a good idea to keep three on here if you can okay i take one to go across the board it reminds me of the one to 100 game this game oh no you guys are talking about a different game okay my role right you played a five and a four five and a two right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do exactly what i said uh oh you're talking about uh talking about backgammon if you're playing five and a two or if i'm going to play five and a two i'm going to bring this here make this a triple as well right as for the two i'm going to play this okay one two thank you very much eric i it's been in the family for 50 years at least at least from the 1960s okay i think one question on everybody's mind is can you cheat at backgammon yes okay your opponent can catch you but cheating and backgammon doesn't help very much really because there's so many movements you're doing uh and if you're cheating the odds are you're not going to get too many games from other people in general i i don't play with people who cheat in games it's not fun right i don't sometimes they make a mistake and backgammon when you play rapid uh, you'll see in our me and my grandma playing backgammon mistakes are sometimes made right but intentional cheating i've caught some people cheating uh sp especially when you play for money right and you got to keep a close eye right you got to keep a close eye now who who played i played five and a two your role double threes whenever you get a double right whenever you get a double it means you can play four threes four of whatever doubles you get right so what's a good four double threes to play right now you can take these two guys and go one two three that's two doubles you played right there so you knocked me down right or you knocked me off or you knocked me off the board what i have to do with this piece is start back up here again okay i'll show you how that works when can you take your piece off the board you can take we haven't got there yet you take your piece off the board only when you have all your pieces here and then you just have to roll one to six and you take out according to what you roll okay so you can only take out and this isn't the greek version greek version as long as you come out here you can take it off and stuff like this this is traditional version right babylonian version mesopotamian version persian version armenian version okay turkish version 
The only time you can take pieces off, once you get all your pieces, I get all my pieces here, you get all your pieces here, and you remove according to the numbers you roll. Okay? Your goal, uh, you, one's goal are the opposite of the other. Exactly. Right? So one's goal pieces are on the opposite ends. Yeah. Mine is here, yours is here. The white has to make it here, the black has to make it here. Right? So you play two threes, you have two more threes left, right? So what are you going to do? This guy can't go, right? Because one, two, three, this is locked up. This guy can go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, come here. That's useless. I can bring one guy here. That's not, he's not neither here nor there. Or I can take two pieces, one, two, three, bring him there, right? So one, three, two, three, 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 four, three. So I played four threes. So... I played my double. It's my turn to roll. Now I have to be able to land here, right? If I roll a three, five, or a six, I can't land. They're locked up. So I need to roll a one, two, or a four. I'm gonna silently watch for a while and see if it starts to make sense. Oh, coolio, it'll make sense. Okay. Bips, Bipster. Hey, Chicho, I just passing by, and I want to know if you know how to speak. Uh, Guinea. No, I don't. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll. I need a. This game is such a good one. Yeah, amazing game. I need a one, a two, or a four. Right. Good evening, everyone. Case man, how you doing? Why should we have three pieces in a row? Uh, like this. Uh, okay, okay. Have a nice day. Uh, like this because you can use this one without breaking your set right without opening this up because if you open it up if i get a six and a one i nail your piece and you start have to start here wherever you get hit you have to start here at the beginning right so my turn to roll one two four i got a five and a three i can't land they're locked up i can't do anything it would be your roll my kid is already saying choo <laughs> I'm hoping he'll be booping by the end of the stream. <laughs> Are your opponents piece? Yeah, they're, the color is a little bit faded. Remember, this is like a 60-year-old game. But these are the white pieces, okay? And these are the black pieces. Should I put little dots on them to make it more visible? I could. Speedy Gonzalez style. Hmm. Do you have to use five and three? Or? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so whose turn is it? It's your turn, right? I couldn't land. You know what? I'm going to go get stickies and put them on there. When you say, here, where's that on the side? The one? Well, there's two different ones. There's a pink one here, and there's purple one here, right? I mean, if you roll something, do you have to use uh, both? The, you have to use both the rolls. Yeah, and that's the thing. The dice can really mess with you as well. Also, maybe you should oil the board. It might help. It might help. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to roll. It's your roll. You guys decide where you want to go. I'm going to go get little stickies and put little stickies on here so you see them better. Two and a one. What are you guys going to do with the two and a one? One, two, one, spot of tea. How are you doing? Go from place 10 to 8 and 9. From 10, which 10? Let's see. You guys aren't here. Go from place 10 to 8 and 9. So you're going to go boop, boop, like this, you mean? That's a 2 and a 1. Like that? You could. The 10 spot is worse to keep. So the one is the true master. <laughs> Personally, this is what I would do. Right? Or I would do this. I would go one and a two. Okay. 
wait, but we don't want a loan piece at the night. Not necessarily. I like like that is not bad. But one thing you got to consider too, right? If you bring this piece here, that means you have a piece here that you can use to block spots if you get those nice rolls, right? Oh, what board games do I do? Uh, I have a video showing my board game collection. I play a lot of... Uh, right now, we're going through like with, uh, with the family, with our gaming group. Uh, we're playing a lot of Monopoly, believe it or not. And uh, it's a phenomenal game. Absolutely amazing game. And we play variant rules. It's absolutely magnificent. I'm going to put green green tape on your pieces. Okay. That way you guys can see them better. Good news. Doing well. Just found... Oh, oh where is this? I'm losing... Just found all my end-of-year exams. I have been officially canceled. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to set this up so we can continue the game. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. I should have done this earlier, but we haven't played this for a while, so far I forgot that it was harder for you guys to see it because I haven't oiled this thing, as was mentioned. All right? It's a beautiful game. This game. It's. If I had to choose one game to play for the rest of my life, as long as I have the right opponents, uh, backgammon would be it. Okay. Uh, the trick with backgammon is finding someone to play with that you really enjoy. Oh yeah, Monopoly variant rules. Oh, by the way, I have the stats for the Monopolies. Um, and oh yeah, just to let you guys know, as soon as this week's streams are done, okay, uh, I'm gonna load up actually they're already loaded but I'm gonna release if you guys have been around uh, a while ago a couple of years ago two or three years ago I had our gaming group come here and we played back uh, Monopoly live we did a weekend of live streaming Monopoly with the variant rules and I haven't released the original live streams on YouTube I released them on BitChute only just because uh, YouTube was dinging people for releasing like, Twitch streams and stuff like this. Uh, but because we're in pandemic zones, pandemic time, uh, I'm going to release those live streams. There's 17 Monopoly live streams that I'm going to release on uh, YouTube. Okay. Uh, they're fun. Phenomenal. And I miss playing Monopoly. That's the other board game that i've been playing every uh every two weeks with our gaming group uh, my board game activity is basically playing monopoly with our board game group and playing backgammon with my grandma and playing backgammon with you guys right 17 chicho 17 chicho video chicho and cousins playing live stream monopoly for money <laughs> Okay, did we get them all? We got them all. Nice, nice, nice. Let's play. Let's play back, yeah. So you got a two and a one. What were you guys going to do? This guy here? Oh, this one was here. So should we go two, one? How come uh, How come Chicho doesn't have a boop of sound? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to create that. Monopoly with real money. Uh, that actually sounds fun. It's fantastic, Coolio. So much fun. In chess harder uh, than this or easier um, chess is a different game chess is a more complicated game more complex game uh, it's more it could be more intense game uh, the fun factor of backgammon uh, there are very few board games that even come close to the fun factor of backgammon once you go pch, 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 right chicho you play poker oh yes with your game group we have but uh, 
I sort of retired from poker. I took poker to a, a certain level that I sort of went, I saw people losing a lot of money, writing blank checks and putting them in the pot and stuff. I saw a lot of people getting hurt in poker. So I walked away a little bit, okay? Fancier stuff like Monopoly, etc. Uh, whose turn is it? My turn, right? I need one, two, four. I got two and a five, right? So I get two and a five, right? So the two is, the five is not open. I can't land there, but the two is open. So I go two. I will put 500 real pounds on a Monopoly live game. <laughs> nice. So there is a two and I have to play the five. So what I'm going to do with the five is I can come here and force the white player or the green player, you guys, to try to hit me here and maybe leave a piece open. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring the five here. Okay. Your roll. Four and a one. That's not a good roll on your part. One thing you could do is play risky, but try to set me back on serious notch, right? You could go four and a one. Now, the way we play is Persian version, right? Armenian version. If you hit a piece, it's illegal to escape, okay? You can cover it up, but you can't hit and run. Okay, so no hitting and running in the core areas in your spot. However, you can hit and run in these two areas, right? So I can't hit and run here, but I can hit and run here, here, or here. And you can't hit and run here, but you can hit and run here, here, and here. Okay, so one thing you could do, you could go four and a one because you're still open. You're not covering up. So you nail two of my pieces, right? You're hoping that I don't roll, and the next roll you get is a seven or a nine, because a seven will cover this up and a nine will cover this up, right? So I'm gonna roll the dice. Two and a one, I land. That was a that was a worst case scenario for you, right? Or for me, the white guy playing right now, because you guys aren't really doing the movements. I'm playing just to show you how it's working, right? So it's not on you if things go wrong, it's on me. That is a higher knowledge grade. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm missing some chat, but I'm going to continue this. That way we can play a game together, right? Your roll. Six and a three. Check this out. That's a bad roll. Or I shouldn't say your roll yet, but it is because you guys are going to play it. Six and a three. If you look at here, the three and the six is covered, so you can't land. So you can't do anything. My roll. Four and a six. Check this out. This to here is a six, and here's a four. Boop, boop. And that's one thing that happens with backgammon. One wrong move, <laughs> laugh out not going to ring. One wrong move can really set you back, right? Your roll. You have two pieces you have to land now. Two and a three, right? Two and a three. Both two and three are taken. You can't land. Oof. This is serious pain right here. It's kind of like war. Stealing your opponent's land, then going home. To a certain degree. I've never played war, but it sounds exactly the same. My roll, four and a one. Here's what I'm going to do, right? Because you already have two pieces up, I'm going to try to eliminate you right off the bat, right? So I'm going to hit the one here. Okay, I can't cover, right? Like I'm stuck, I can't cover. This guy can't move four, that guy can't move four. So I'm gonna move a four here. That gives me more opportunity to cover this up if you can't hit this right now, okay? Now, your roll, you need to get a five, really. You need to land, okay? And you need to hit this guy. Four and a three, okay? So you got a four and a three. You can land a four, you can't land a three, you can't do anything else my roll for me two and a one i hit this guy four and a one i hit this guy five and a one i hit this guy five and a four i hit this guy cover up four and a two i hit this guy cover up double ones i hit this guy and cover up so there's a few rolls that might hurt you guys badly right three and a one now three and a one doesn't cover it up but what i can do is just go three cover this up 
and I'm gonna do a one here. Cover that up for now. Okay. Your roll five and a three. Five and three are both taken. You can't do anything. My roll. Okay. Six and a one. This guy can't go anywhere. This is a six, and here's a one. I'm gonna move this guy here. Okay. I'm hoping you don't land this round. You got a five and a one. You can't land the five, but you can land the one. So you can't play the five, so you're stuck. That's all you got, right? I gotta take this guy out. Eat one of these guys I'm gonna take out, no matter what, okay? Four, three. Check this out. This is a four, and here's a three, right? This is like if, this is like the worst case, one of the worst case scenarios for the white player right now okay my role oh no i'm sorry your role three and a six no dice right you can't land you're stuck i'm gonna try to take this guy out two and a one i didn't even reach it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring the actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this to a two because i want to free the self give myself more opportunity to escape okay uh, and yeah it's been on my watch list this conversation is going on that's good your role you guys need a one you need to cover this up because as soon as you cover it up i can't hit it right that means you have at least one spot that you can land on can we cheat now not yet <laughs> my role six and a four was it my role whose role was it my role or your role if that's your role that's not good because four and a six you can't land i think that was your role yeah i lost track whose role yours my role good go to replay <laughs> go to replay <laughs> six i'm gonna hit this okay and four i'm gonna bring this in so i can cover it up if you don't hit it your role double threes would have been a nice role if you had any pieces to play right my role double fives here's one five i've covered this whole lot you can't land so it's just my role now, right? So that's one five. I got three more fives to play. Two, three, four. Okay. My role, you can't roll because you can't land, right? So it's useless for you to roll. We do have the ability to clip it if we ever want to be sure. Okay, Coolio. Keep track, gang, because once we start playing, I'm just going to be rolling. Sometimes when I'm rolling, I lose track of if I'm rolling for you or me or whatever it is, right? So I continue to roll. Is this over if we can't land? Not yet, not yet. You're in trouble, but it's not over yet. Because when I'm taking pieces off, I might, the dice, this is dice, I might have to just leave one spot open, one piece open. That means you can land and hit it, and I have to start back here with that one piece and try to make it back again. For us, that way it's easier to track yeah watch this so my role because you can't land right oh my god oh check this out uh sorry for a disturb we can go on okay check this out it's not a disturb it's question words right now i roll double ones right this guy can't move because this is blocked i can't go one two three like if a spot is blocked for you to move you can't go right if I rolled a two, I could have gone two, but I didn't. I rolled one, so I can only play once. I can play four ones. This guy can't go. This guy can't go because it's stuck. This guy has to move four pieces. If it has it, one, two, three, four. Perfect, right? If this guy was here, then I would have to go one, two. I still have to play two more ones. Then I would have had to open up, right? luckily I don't because this guy was here so I go one two three four okay I'm going to learn this ins and outs of this game in my own time and the next back game stream I'm gonna be an expert nice have you seen the royal game of you no I think you love it I haven't seen it no royal game of you are well you roll it's useless for you to roll because you can't land so I'm gonna keep on rolling five and a two here's a five here's a two i'm gonna continue to roll double threes 
one, three, two, three, 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 four, three, right? Usually I would just go like this, double threes, right? Now that I have all my pieces in my zone, my home base, whatever I roll, I'm taking off according to where the position is, right? Check this out. My roll, because you can't roll, you can't land. I roll four and a one. This is a four, right, right here. And here's a one, right? This guy here. Now, when you're removing pieces, you have to consider what the dice can give you. You don't want to leave odd number of pieces on this end. Because if you leave an odd number of pieces on this end, the dice, the probability of dice giving you a number where you have to leave one piece unprotected becomes more. So you have to be careful with this. I could go one and a four, remove this, right? However, if I get double sixes or double fives, it means one man's going to be left unprotected. So I'm not going to do that. Instead of taking one and a four and a one out, because you don't want to do that, you don't want to leave a gap within your block, your wall, I'm going to do this. One, two, three, four, and a one. I'm going to move the pieces over here. I'm going to play safe. Because the odds are, if all of these three pieces now land, because my purpose right now is to get these guys out of here, your pieces out of here, because I'm pretty sure you're backgammon now, which means double game. If I finish all my pieces, removing all my pieces, and you haven't removed one piece, that's a double game. Okay. So if you were playing for favors, let's say, let's say one person buys the other person a movie, if you lost a double game, you got to buy him two movies. Okay. House always wins. <laughs> uh, she just got the crabs roll fun. Crabs I missed too. My roll again because you can't land. Four and a two. Here's a four, but then if I take off a, if I take off a four, I gotta play a two. And if I play anything or remove a two, I leave a spot open. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Here's two, here's four. Okay. So if you roll doubles, you obliterate it, uh, obliterate to move those va values four times. Exactly. You have to move four times if you move a uh, roll doubles, any doubles. Okay. Now you can roll because there is a spot open for you to land. I want you to land. I want you to move along. That way I can play my game, remove pieces without fear. Right? Your roll, you didn't land. You got a four and a one. They're both taken. Right? My roll. Six and a five. Right? Now I don't have a six anymore. So I can take off a five for the six and I have a five to take off. So if you roll a bigger number than you have, you just take off whatever the highest number is. So I remove five and a six. Now you have five and a six you can land on, right? Ah, I see. So there may be instances where doubles are not ideal. Exactly twitching Jason. Jason. Doubles can seriously mess you up, okay? And they can seriously put it, put you at a huge advantage and bring you from behind to win a game. Okay, your roll. Double fours. No dice. Four is taken. You can't do anything. My roll. Four and a two. Okay. Here's a four spot. I'm going to take this off. But I'm not going to take the two off. Because if I take the two off, this is odd. The probability of me having to leave one thing unprotected on the next roll is seriously kicked up so i'm gonna i remove the four and i'm gonna play a two that way everything's even so there's no way i could roll anything to have one unprotected piece left in the next roll so it's not looking good for you guys right because all my pieces are all basically stacking up here which is good for me right your roll four and a three you don't land right because they're both taken underrated but do you like asterisks uh the uh comic books yeah for sure is that what we're talking about the comic books from belgium european comic books is it belgium i think it's belgium isn't it oh yeah for sure when i was a kid i read those too i had some of those comics as well but i didn't bring them over i just brought over tintin 
France, France, yeah. And the movies are fantastic. There's two movies, asterisk movies out. They're really good. They're super fun. They're animated movies. Okay. Euro. Double twos. Nice doubles. Too bad you can't land, right? And you don't want to land right now anyway. Belgium. My roll. Three and a one. Now, check this out. This is the three spot. If I take a three off, I got to move a one here to make sure it's not left open, right? But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a little bit less dangerous move because you don't want to leave a spot open. I'm going to do this. One and a three. Okay. Now, this isn't ideal for me because if I get two numbers that aren't doubles and they're three or more, then on the next roll, I'm going to have one open. Okay. Now, for me, I want you to get double fours, double fives, or double sixes so you get out of here. So you don't put me in that situation, right? Asterisk or the adventures of asterisk, French asterisk, asterisk, is, is Golocha, Gol, Golos, uh, lit. asterisk, the Gaul, the Gaul, yeah, 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 the Gaul is <laughs> a French band, the series about, yeah, the Gaul. It's funny, and the liquid they drink, and the sage, it's, it's fantastic okay your roll six and a one right the one is taken you can't land but the six you can put one, one piece down okay. my roll four and a three how unfortunate here is the three right i don't have a four so i have to take off from the three right now the only thing that's going to save you right now is if you get a three okay you need to get a three. Send the vibes this way. Send the vibes this way. Oh, and you get a three. Check this out. You got a three and a one. The one you can't land, but the three you hit me. Right? So now I can't take off any more pieces. This guy has to start here and make its way back for me to be able to take off more pieces again. Okay? We're still alive. You're still alive. Okay? Salute. Now we are sitting on 10. You may be lucky in your draw. Maybe. And by the way, right now, the game seriously changed because I have to be able to escape all these people and all your pieces to make it back here without being constantly knocked back again, right? Difficult to do. Difficult to do. However, we'll see where we go from here. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how's it going? I see you've got some drinks and snacks, as always. Always. I love drinks and snacks. I am still not sure what's going on in this game. You, you'll see how it plays out. This is If this is the first time you're watching Backgammon, it's difficult to figure out how Backgammon is played uh, in one go. Okay. Or to get a really good feel for it my role you just hit my piece right i want four and five to come here as far as i can are the black pieces in the winning areas so far however i just got knocked so we'll see four and a six i can land the four right but the six takes me to here and i can't come to here right one two three four five six so four is it i can't play the six okay Hopefully you guys can see the dice. Your roll. Now I'm hoping you don't land because I need just a little bit of time to make it back without you being able to hit me, right? So I'm rooting for you to get a two and a one. You want to land. Double threes, what a nice roll. Double threes, here's one three, right? Now the name of the game is to make sure you don't allow me to move any pieces right because if i get a double fives check this out what double fives will do for me right one five two five three five four five i'm gone right you're not gonna pick six move three pick six move three move it to here i wouldn't do that okay you nailed me one here right you can't afford to allow me to roll again you need to hit me okay 
So this is what I would do if I was you. There's two threes right there. Okay. So you're knocking me up. Okay. You're not knocking me up, but you're knocking me above the board, off the table, right? So I don't, the next roll, I have to land and move, right? Now you could move the three here to give yourself more chance, <laughs> things left, more chance to cover this up. So you play two threes so far. I personally moved, moved these two down there just to lock it up, just in case I get a four and a six again okay or you could move one piece there so that's three threes you played and then move this guy here which is not a bad idea distribute your pieces okay my role i want a four and a five or four and a three i i need to get out of here right five and a three i can't land your role right now you want to cover this up asap four and a one Here's a four. That's done, right? The one split this. Distribute your pieces, right? My roll. Physically impossible. My, my roll? My roll. You just play it. Two and a five. Here's a two. And the only five I have is this. Now, almost anything you roll, you're going to hit me, except double fours, I think, right? Because double fours. You have to be here, here, here. Yeah, I'm hoping you get you get double fours. Yeah, double fours for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, five and a three. So you do hit me. Here's a three, and for sure you have to hit me. You can't afford to let me roll, right? That's a three, and then you do five here to lock it up, right? Because if you lock this one up too, if I land, I can't even move. So you're free to do whatever you want. Chicho's brain is too fast with this game. Calculating um, new super uh, case man. I've just been at this for so long. I like seriously. This just comes. Uh, this comes more naturally to me than anything. I think. Okay. It's brilliant game. Love the game. Miss Grandma. You want to see Grandma? Here's Grandma again. <laughs> There's my Grandma. There's my partner I play backgammon with. And she was sitting here, by the way, when we were doing the live stream for this, and the camera was set up this way, right? <laughs> grandma, Grandma. <laughs> okay, whose role is it? Whose role is it? I think it's my role because you just hit me, right? I want a two and a five or one and a six. Two and a five. Nice. Two and a five. Sweet. Sweet. I am seriously hoping... That you guys get double ones double twos or two and a one so you don't land that means you can't move right tonight i feel martin you'll pick this up martin you got a numbers game numbers mind you'll pick this up quick but you need a someone to play with to improve your game really goes a long ways right your role you want anything with a three in it numbers numbers so many numbers right four and a three now you could land a three but the four wouldn't hit so you're gonna land a four and you're gonna hit me with a three okay i need a two and a five again or one and a six yeah multitasking you're modding as well right now hopefully the mod it sounds like the uh the chat is pretty pretty chill we're not getting too many craziness going on which is fantastic discord crew uh we need to find a good free online client to play this yeah backgammon man it's amazing i played online a little bit too but there's something about the dice rolling on wood yo let's go i used to play so much younger with my dad i thought everyone knew back uh, void uh, i'm amazed there everyone doesn't know backgammon and by the way hi void how you doing uh my roll two five six one oh two six two six brings me here i can't move okay you need a five or a six to hit me because you can't afford for me to roll or you need a three and a six you need a nine to lock this up once you lock this up i'm done for right i've been super focused since you threatened to kick my ass at this game twitching face your roll double twos this is not going to work one 
two, three, four. It doesn't do it. So you're gonna hit me. One, two, three. That's three twos. You gotta play one more two. Just to be on the safe side because I've gotten two and a five before and a two and a six before. Take one of these guys up. Here, take this guy up. Just in case I get a two and a six, right? Your roll. Oh, my roll, sorry. I need a two and a five. Two and a five, Chicho. My girlfriend has come over. Nice, Martin. Say hi to her. And if she's into playing backgammon, teach her backgammon with us. Otherwise, have a good evening, brother. Good evening, brother. My roll. Two and a five. Oh, no dice, no dice. Four and a six, I can't land. Right? Your roll. Double twos. Oh, no, two and a one. Oh, my God, you don't even reach it. Two and a one. Look at this. You don't even reach it. Crazy, crazy. This is what I would do. I would do two. Oops. I would do two here. And I would move one here. Okay, get closer just in case I come out. Chicho, I'm just now tuning in. How does this game work? Oh, we're just going through a tr uh, Tristan. We're just going through the types of movements. If it's not enough, it's basically if you get doubles of anything, you have to morph, move four pieces. If you get singles, you have to move that many, right? A three and a one means you got to move a three and a one. You have to, right? If you get two two things pieces, they're blocked. You can't be hit. A, a solo piece can be hit. The rest of it will take a little bit of time for me to explain. We're going to play a game together as soon as we're done and we're close to being done this game. I missed the beginning. I definitely need to see the setup. Okay. Valians, how you doing? Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. So, uh, my roll. I need a two and a five or a two and a six. I need to hit, get out. Okay. Oh, double threes. No dice, no dice. No dice, no dice. Your roll. One and a five. Oh my God, you still don't cover that. But you can do this. Five and a one. So you're locking up the one one spot. So now I only have just a two spot to land on. Right, Valiance. It's been a while. Hoping everyone is safe and well. You as well, Valiance. My role. I need a two and a five. I need to get out of town, right? Oh, no dice. Four and a six. Right? Your role. Three and a two. Now you're gonna move this piece closer here just in case I land and come out, right? So I would do a three and then I would do, actually I would do a three here, I would move a two here, okay? My roll, hello, hello, doing all right. Oh, no dice, four and a six, right? Four and a five, sorry. Your roll, five and a six. I would move this guy here, six and five, five. My roll. I need a two. Oh, no dice. Three and a five. Your roll. Oops. Double ones. That's not a good roll. Here, let's do three here and two, one here. Okay, just get closer. Line them up. You want to bring a piece here so you can do cover this guy up, right? Do you know where the term no dice comes from? No, I don't know. Atlas Brood, where's it come from? Uh, my roll, a two. No dice, four and a six. Your roll, five and a two. Oh, look at this, you can't even move there. Two and a five. You're gonna do this, two and a five, just in case you get a three, one. The phrase no dice originated in America in the early 20th century. Gambling was illegal in several states, making pro uh, gamblers take care to hide their dice uh, or even swallow them if challenged by authorities. Courts would often throw gambling cases out if no dice were in evidence. Ah, no way. That's how absurd prohibition is, right? People have to swallow dice not to get arrested. What? That is cool. Whose turn is it? My turn? My turn. Because you just came here, I think, right? I need a two. Oh, no, no, no. Four and a six again. I'm getting so many four sixes. Your roll. Four and a five. Check this out. 
Here is a four and here is a five. Now you have more pieces here to cover this up, which is good. That's exactly what you want. My roll, two. Oh, nope, five and a one. Okay, your roll, four and a three. You're not gonna move that in. Oh, this is it, right? Check this out, four and a three. Now it's your roll, I can't land. I wonder if they made a digestible dice for that edge case. One of your math websites in the 420 math with the slogan learn math and prohibition. What does uh, that mean? Um, that's a series I want to create on the mathematics of prohibition. I haven't got around to it, Atlas Brood. I don't think I've made any videos on it. I might have put one out, but I want to make a whole series on the mathematics of prohibition. Basically, look at, collect the data, just the same way we're doing for COVID, just the same way we're doing for dice, and graph it and talk about the ratios and stuff like this. I am very anti prohibition, by the way, right? So, right now, I can't land. So I'm in the position you guys were, where I can't play. So it's just ro your role now, right? Six and a two, two and a six. Now you have to be sort of careful when you're moving in. You wanna account for double sixes or double fives so you don't accidentally leave one piece open, right? So for example, watch this. If you get double sixes right now, one goes here, two goes here, three goes here. No, you're okay, okay? Hasn't prohibition ended? Not everywhere. Right, and not prohibition on everything. Right, your roll two and a three. Here's two, and that wouldn't be a good move. I would do this two and a three, right? And you're in general the way we play, you can't take back your roll six and a two, two and a six. The war on drugs comes to mind exactly. Your roll still, I still can't land five and a three now the way you want to do this is i've already got a head start check this out i already have five pieces off the board right you want to make sure i don't get away fast enough to get ahead of you right so you're going to play five and a three if you play three you're going to move five if you play five you can take off a three but you're not going to do that because that would leave an odd year so the probability of you leaving a unprotected piece open stays you don't want to do that so you're going to go personally i would do this three and a five or um uh, it was like this i think right yeah i would do five and a three that's even better okay your roll still two and a one two and a one okay this is off the board by the way right it's not hit so you're taking pieces off now uh here I'll put your pieces here, okay? Your roll still. Because I can't land. You have a, you've hit one of my pieces. I can't land. I can't move. Five and a one. Now check this out. This isn't a great roll for you. You could go five and then move up one, but that leaves a gap. You don't want to do that. You'd rather do this. One and a five. There's less probability of you leaving something open. Okay, because it's full, yeah my role now because i can land right i want double sixes i want to go i want to go asap even though you have an odd number of pieces you might leave something open i don't want to hang around i got five pieces off the board you only have one piece off the board six no dice you don't want to get a five and a six five and a four four or four and a six you don't want any of the two large numbers together right other than or double sixes, double fives, or double fours because you're going to leave a spot open, right? A man unprotected. Four and a one. Perfect roll. One, four. Right? Now you have two pieces off the board. Here. Let's put these here so you see what's going on. These are my pieces I've already taken off. Those are your pieces, right? I need to run. I need a six. Six and a two. Six and a two. Okay. Your roll five and a two now you can remove pieces freely without worrying about me hitting them five and a two right i need doubles big doubles nice asmr sound of your chain uh quite a funny five and a two came off right my roll double five and a three here's a five here's a three 
Okay. Your role. No, you're not disturbing. Oh, you need the number that it says on the board. Yeah. And if you don't have that number, you can take one below it, right? As long as you don't have anything on the other side of it. If you have bigger numbers, you got to play it. Wait, wait. I'm starting to remember that I played Mojan in Hong Kong as a kid. Nice. I'm listening and head speakers and need to turn uh, turn around all time. Turn around all time. Whose role? Your role. Oh, double sixes. Look at the sweetness you got. Right? Was it your role or my role? <laughs> right? Double sixes. What a sweet role. You get to play four sixes, right? <laughs> That's the way you could cheat. Hey, my role. So you don't have a six, right? That means you can move, remove pieces below. You can room, remove four sixes. Well, here's four pieces gone, right? The odds of me coming back from this are slim. So four pieces down. So check this out. I have five pieces off. You have eight pieces off. I need to get doubles. I need to get double sixes, double fives. Wow, that's a nice roll. That is a phenomenal roll, right? Double means four, double means four. It's double the amount. Hey, that's a great way of saying it. Uh, my roll. Come on, baby. Oh, we lost the die here. What was it? Oh, we don't want a three and a one. Well, John is very similar. Nice comeback. Oh, five and a four. So close to double fives. Double fives would have been sweet. So here is one, two, three, four, and a five, right? It's on the five spot. It goes off. Your roll. Oh, <laughs> double sixes. Let's <laughs> check this out. There's four off. Now, there's absolutely no way for me to win right now. Double, double sixes. Yeah. So even if I get doubles, double sixes, double fives, double fours, double threes, or double twos, I would remove these four, right? Let's say you don't get a double, you remove two. Even if I get doubles, the maximum number I can remove is four. And in the next roll you remove, you're, I'm done. But let's roll anyway. Let's use up your double lux, see where it goes, right? My roll, four and a three. Like there's no way I could win, right? Your roll, five and a two. And my roll doesn't make a difference what I roll. I came back from almost losing. <laughs> I, came, I came back from almost losing that one. Like this game. Nice snake eyes. It, it doesn't matter. If I roll anything, it's over. Anyway. Six and a four, you roll whatever you roll, you get one piece off, right? That's the game of backgammon. That's the Speedy Gonzalez version of the rules of how to play and whatnot. Let's have one of our cookies. Chocolate chip. Whole wheat, coconut flour, honey, chocolate chip walnut cookies with a homemade applesauce. I hope you guys have good snacks. I hope you guys have good snacks. Right? They go amazing together. Should I set it up? Should we play? Tristan, if you want that recipe, do chicho chocolate chip cookies. I've made two videos where we made chocolate chip cookies, honey chocolate chip cookies. Okay. One of them is a recorded version, I believe. Yeah, I believe one of them is a recorded version, and the other one is a live stream. Coconut flour. Yeah, it's coconut flour is dry, right? So it goes amazing with the uh, with the applesauce, right? And coconut uh, coconut flour behaves differently, so it gives it a coconut taste as well, right? So it's like coconut chocolate chip honey cookie with walnuts and applesauce you don't need to use uh, wheat martin i think one of the ones i you uh one of the recipes we made we made a uh i don't know if we've done a gluten-free version but i think we've done gluten-free version of cookies 
What a plot, what a plot twist. What a plot twist, 100%. Like it flipped around, right? Like huge flip. If you were a betting person, and if you had bet on you guys winning, you would have raked in like 20 times your return, your initial bet, right? Was it late to me? Good night. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce your name. Fate? Good night, Fate. Thank you for popping in. Okay. Now, let's play backgammon. Okay. New fat. New ni fat. Thanks for dropping in, Nifat. <laughs> or milk. Oh, uh, I don't use milk, Martin, in my cookies. I use uh, flour, coconut um, oil, so no butter. Okay. So I use uh, coconut butter, uh, coconut uh, oil, and I use, uh, uh, this has two eggs. It's a big platter, so it has two eggs in it. That's it. All right. So there's no dairy in this other well there's no dairy period cool i actually missed the setup in the beginning this is the standard starting layout this is the standard starting layout jason okay and we roll to see who goes first okay now remember we're gonna roll and you guys use the numbers to tell me what you want to move right but we at the beginning of a game we roll to see who goes first and then during the day okay if we continue playing whoever won gets to go first so actually you guys won right so you get to roll first okay so go get your snacks have a drink salute okay uh autumn olive liqueur it it should be safe for you and you can Instead of wheat flour, I've made these cookies with coconut flour and uh, tapioca flour. Coconut tapioca. Tapioca gives it a squishy feel. It's pretty good, actually. Scotch. Mm, scotch. Kampai. What's kampai? Kampai. 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 Oh, kampai is a salute. It's uh, kampai. It's Japanese, no? Or Korean? Bonjour from Quebec. Void, void. So, you guys are rolling. You got four and a one. What do you guys want to do? Four, one. Great way to learn the game, by the way. I'm heading to sleep. Have fun playing everyone awesome Connor thanks for popping in hope you have amazing dreams because it is late in Europe two to eight <clears throat> twelve to eight twelve to eight you have a screenshot nice so four goes here and then one there okay that's a good play my roll oh it landed on the above thing not on the flat so i gotta roll again switching to laptop as the animal crossing uh virus has taken a hold of me <laughs> yes, I guess. i've heard it's an amazing game four two four two your roll three one what are you gonna do with three one Avoid you on it. Three one. What should we do? Walnut. Twelve to nine. That's where you want to go. Mm, there's a better move out there. Anyone second in this? Anyone second in this? This is one of the best rolls you could get at the beginning of the game. Okay, I got two fingers. 
uh, of single mom. <laughs> Did we win yet? <laughs> help, help. Watch this. Should I give you a hint? A hint? One, two, three, and a one. All right? That's one of the ideal rules. At the beginning, three, one, four, two, five, three, and six, four cover these spots. Right? Three, one, four, two, five, three, six, four. And a six, one covers this. Okay? So that's what you really want to do. Cannabis, wine, and beer here. Happy camper. Cool deal. My roll. Four, six. Six, four. Okay. Can we stack your two fingers with my two fingers? <laughs> Left frog. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Better to keep them together than isolating the one piece at the nine. Yeah, 100% twitching, Jason. And you want to cover spots here. The reason you want to cover spots in your home territory, because that way, if you capture one of somebody's piece, if you hit them, knock them off on top of the table, they're going to have a harder time to land because the spots are taken, right? I played six and a four. Your turn. Three, two. What are you going to do? Three, two. What should we do for three, two? Look at that goodness. Three, two. Oh, I shouldn't bring them on top of the board. You guys are looking at it. What should we do? Three, two. You got no answer? Three, two. Three, two. Three, two. Five takes you from here to there. You do have other things you could do. You could do three, eight to six. I would do this. I would go three brings you here and two, I would put it there. Or two, I would start moving this guy up, okay? six eight oh you wanted to do this like this but that leaves that one open unnecessary martin i would do three and i would start moving these guys over okay because i have a piece open here you want to get into range to be able to hit it so you're going to make me concerned about this piece right so i'm going to try to cover this piece is there much risk of leaving a single in our territory um, territory now here not much risk but in general you don't want to leave a single here because i'll hit it and you don't want to leave a single piece unprotected within a range of one to six right if you keep your piece here it's going to take both die for you to reach this it takes a seven to hit this right but if you bring the two here that means you can hit this with a five so I'm going to try to protect this so you're forcing me into a move right because if you leave it here i'm not as concerned about this piece as if this guy was here okay so i would do this <laughs> martin sorry <laughs> you don't have to be <laughs> i'm pretty sure your first game is better than my first game right it's just two on our so you're uh my role now right Double threes, that's a nice roll. So check this out. Because you played this, Brent brought this here, I'm concerned about this, right? So I get to play four threes, right? If this guy was here, I wouldn't be as concerned. I would have done something else, but now I gotta take care of this guy, right? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move these two pieces here. That's two threes. And to protect this guy, I'm gonna go one three two threes bring it up here right i wasted two threes just to cover that guy i could have done this with the other two threes come in this spot which would have been really good right but we'll stay here your rule five and a six there's a great play for you guys to do right now with a five and a six five and a six is a good roll to have at the beginning 
What are you going to do with five and a six? Addictive. 12 to 8? No. I wouldn't do that. By the way, I'm in interfering with your game because I want I want to show you some of the good moves you could do. Here's what you do with a 5 and a 6. 6 and a 5. This guy from here to there, gone. Right? Or 6 to 1. You don't want to leave pieces here. These are the last places you want to cover up. You want to cover these guys first, right? Ah, I was thinking two pieces, but that 11 is not. Yeah, for sure. Six and a five. Boop. One piece gone. And you're protect. This guy is protected now, right? In here, if you kept it there, if I got a five and a one, I would have hit and covered, right? But now this guy's sort of useless for me to a certain degree, right? <clears throat> because you don't want to move all your pieces behind your enemies most of your pieces behind your enemies that way you don't have any uh, power any pieces to uh, do combinations and stuff right so you want to sort of make sure you're still keeping some some pieces behind or in front of your enemies piece right So you can also reverse your pieces back into your territory. Reverse your... You can't go the other way. You guys can only go in this motion, right? And I can only go in this motion. I can't go that way. Okay. Is that what you mean? <clears throat> so you can also reverse your pieces back into your territory. Uh, cover my pieces, yes. But I can't move the other way, if that's what you mean, Martin. My role double twos double twos double twos i'm gonna go two twos and two twos okay your roll six and a one now check this out this guy can't move because the one spot is taken and the six spot is taken even though a six and a one makes a seven and from here from here to here is a seven you can't go that seven because both the one and the six are taken if the six was open you could do six one you could go but if you can't move into either spot you can't move at all right invisibility in defense possibility uh, possibility of victory in the attacks <laughs> nice. my check motto nice invisibility in defense possibility of victory in the attacks nice nice so you got a six and a one what are you guys gonna do 12 to 6 12 to 6 that's the best move there's the 6 there is the 1 <clears throat> yeah the kicker is if you cover this if you do this then you leave that one open right and I can nail it with a 4 so you don't want to do that this is the better move it's the safest move right my roll double 4s wow I'm getting a lot of doubles eh double fours not too bad for me because this guy can't move right it couldn't move double twos and it can't move double fours i wanted double fives or double threes or double sixes that would have been super sweet so double fours this is what i'm going to do um i'm going to do two here okay and i'm going to go three four okay crap i'm becoming invested in this game and i have to go go in a bit oh no we'll try to roll faster your roll okay four and a one what are you gonna do with four and a one sorry chicho my guest is distracting me tonight your girlfriend <laughs> that's a nice guest to have brother that's a nice guest to have hello girlfriend four and a one what are you gonna do there's only one safe move to do really 12 to 8 yeah my roll 12 to 8 we had it second we had a third everybody saw it right my roll 
Double sixes. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. That's two sixes. Here is four sixes. Okay. Rigged. <laughs> and by the way, <clears throat> I haven't shown you this. These are dice that came with the. They didn't come with the board, but my grandparents. Uh, my. Uh, oh no, these aren't my grandmother's dice. These. No, no, don't worry about this. But this is cracked. Check this out. This is cracked, right? So it's not fair die. But we were both rolling with cracked dice. So it doesn't matter, right? So double sixes, double sixes. I moved four sixes here. I'm sitting pretty now. Initially, uh, we were even. Right now, I'm ahead. Okay. Your roll. Five, three. Now, you can do try to do a run. It might be a good idea. Because if I get a two and a three, I nail you and you're in trouble. If I get a six and a three, I nail you're in trouble. But five and a three only takes you to here, right? So you're leaving me at a two. And I'm ahead of the game right now, right? So you have to consider where you are right now. If you stay here, then if I don't get a good roll, I'm going to stay play safe, right? But if you move, I get a two, I hit you, you start back up here again problematic only two spots and you're also behind in the game you got three pieces here three pieces here i got two here and two here right he's using the secret control crack dice maneuver when he rolls <laughs> no as an arnie once said magic or magnetics so five and a three what are you guys going to do with a five and a three of course you could also do five three or five three cover spots so you can run or you can hold me back Five and or six move closer. Five and six move closer. Do over this side? Run for us, run. <laughs> Personally, maybe I would do this. Five here and a three here. Right? I don't know of this. I agree. Three to 11. Three? to 11 you're running we got two people saying running is good before that piece falls too far behind or perhaps 12 to 8 and 8 to 5 okay what is the optimal play here run we got three people saying run <clears throat> it really depends how, do, how lucky do you feel right do you think you can get doubles and get caught up to me or are you gonna risk me nailing you with a two? Let's run. We got lots of runners. So we got five and a three. Now I need a two, right? So as I see it, move into your enemy's territory without leaving free spaces uh, in you in your wake, basically, right? My roll, two. Oh, five and a one. Now I can't move that because it will leave a spot open. So I'm just going to move these. Five and a one. Now you need doubles. Two and a three. So you have no choice on this one. For sure, you got to do a three here to get rid of that guy. Now, what's your two move? You can either move this here or that there. Same move, really. So as I see it, move into your. Oh, yeah, enemy territory without leaving. Yeah. So three, two why not and when you're running by the way each segment is a step forward okay each segment is a good place to go right so this moves your head one segment that means basically with a six you can move into the next territory right i'm just sure about the dice throw uh my roll six and a two i'm going here's a two here's a six I'm ahead of the game. I'm not even going to hold back, right? Your roll. Two and a three. Not very powerful. Because right now when you're running, you want big numbers and you want doubles. How many can you stack on one spot? As many as you like, right? You could, hey, Padre, how are you doing? Padre, Padre, Padre. You can stack as many as you like, right? You have to play one, but can ignore the other dice. No, you have to play both. You have no choice 
unless you can't move the second dice. So two and a three, personally, it doesn't really make a difference if you do this. But what you can do is, this is two spots away. So you want to get in here. You want to maximize your return. So you would move this as a two and move this as a three. 12 to 10, yeah. And what was the other one? One to 11. There was no one to 11. 11 to eight. Eight to six. Eight to six for sure. But you don't want to move from here to here. Because if you get a five, this guy automatically enters here. So you're wasting one movement. When you're running, you're thinking segments now. The game has changed for you, the way you're perceiving things. You want to jump from one territory to the next, one quadrant to the next. So you're not going to waste any moves moving a three spot from there to there while you could move a three from here to here or a three from here to here it's the same deal but this one can go to here with a tour right with a two spot so you're not going to waste it waste a three on it you're going to move this guy here because it moves closer to here chichonians i understand backgammon now nice one my roll double ones here's one two three and four double ones right now sucks right your roll six and a five it's not bad it's pretty good yeah the finer details is the key for backgammon really the finer details just like almost anything you can learn 90 percent of the game it's the other 10 percent that matters right five and a six what are you guys going to do <clears throat> Twelve to eight. Sure. Twelve to seven. Twelve to seven is better, right? Because that gets you closer, fills the one spot. So with a one you can move in. And then I would move this guy because the five goes from there to there. That's the closest you can be to get in there, right? Bring home twelve for sure. Just like chess. Ten to four. You could do ten to well, ten to four is a six spot. You rather go six spot, fill this. You're very good at chess. Yeah, I bet Martin, right? So I would do this, five. The unfortunate thing for you guys is all your pieces are here, which really sucks, which really sucks, right? Because you don't have the pieces here. So if you get small numbers, you got to play inside, right? My roll, six and a five. I'm going to go five and I'm going to take out the six okay it's math on a board it's math on a board 100 percent. your rule oh double ones nasty rule nasty rule and right below it is double sixes right but you got double ones what are you gonna do double ones are you gonna move these pieces no because they don't kick you into the next zone right so you're gonna play the double ones with these guys right here's one here's two here's three right are you gonna move these guys no you're gonna move this guy to so move closer so if you get another one you can move it here right i got to sleep now have a good evening fellas good evening valiance thank you for popping in thank you for the twitch prime sub okay appreciate it like backgammon like backgammon is uh basis math used with treachery Martin, treachery is the name of the game, right? My roll. Two and a three, right? I have the three, right? The three can come off. Oh, no, that's a two. My bad. I have the two, right? The two can come off. I have to play a three. Now, I'm not going to play this as a three because that's already got pieces there. I'm going to try to fill these two guys because that way, if I roll the dice, and a one or a three comes up, I can take pieces off. And usually you try to move the furthest ones out closer. So three goes there. Okay. Your roll. Oh, brutal rolls, brutal rolls. Look at this, two and a one. Nasty, 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 right? The reason you had this piece here, because this guy can enter here with one roll, with a one, right? Dang, slinging them dice. Here's a two, right? my roll 
6 and a 1. Here's a 6. I don't have a 1, but I'm going to split this up. So I cover the 1. I have a piece on 1. So right now in the next roll, I can take, no matter what I get, I at least remove 2. There's no holes. Know your enemy, find the weakness, exploit it. Yeah. Backgammon, huge, huge in this, by the way. Huge, huge, huge. Some people have a certain style of playing. You can counter their style. Okay. Double sixes. You need double sixes, case man. Oh, five and a four. Better than two and a one. Jeez. Five and a four, right? So five goes in and a four goes in, right? So now you can start removing pieces. You need a lot of double sixes. And you need me to get low numbers. The only doubles we got were ones, Chicho got like four doubles in the early game. <laughs> yeah, I'm crying. Boy. My role. Ooh, calling doubles, are ya? Double fours for me. Sweetness, sweetness, right? So double fours, I get to play four fours, right? Damn. <laughs> I was like Sun Tzu. Yeah, for sure. Art of War to a certain degree, right? So I get to play four fours. One, two, three, right? And I have one more four left. I'm going to move a six piece to a two piece. Two spot, okay? Your roll. Swing it. Swing it nice for you guys. Oh, didn't work. Didn't work. Four and a two, right? So you have the four spot. Four comes off, two, break the six, right? Like the odds of you winning right now are really, really, really slim. More slim than the previous game, right? My roll. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Double sixes. Fast players, piler, definitive, attacking, and the mister. Mix blitz it, come on. <laughs> Chicho, you're killing us. One, and I don't have any more sixes, so I take off from the fives. Boop. Right? Four pieces comes off. Like, there's absolutely no way you could win right now, but let's roll. Jeez, really? <laughs> it's scripted, I swear. Your roll. Oh, four and a two again. Nastiness. Here's a four and a two. You break the six again. What are we rolling? What are we rolling? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a four spot, so I played a five and I got three more fours. <laughs> Here's three more fours, <laughs> right? Like, people will walk away right now, basically. Your roll? Oh, you got double fours. You only got one four. I'm done. <laughs> you got one four, right? Here's two fours. Here's three fours. Here's four fours. No matter what I roll, this is done, right? And six and a one. Boop. Great game. Great game. Chicho with the back to back doubles. Yeah, the doubles, once they start coming, so weird. Like I said, Chicho, I see numbers rather than the game. Yeah. It, it, for certain things, I only see numbers as well, right? But for backgammon, certain, certain games, it's the games. It's, I've played them so much that the numbers just is a language now, right? It just flows. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> fun game, gang? A fun game? I hope you like. I hope you like. Wow, we're at this two. Two hours up time. We're at two hours. We are. We started at four, six o'clock. Wow, wow, wow. It's a fantastic game, Case Man. It's a fantastic game. And if you, you want to see how the game is played, like how me and my grandma play, more streams of this in the future. Play. For sure, Void. For sure. I think we're gonna do all uh, I've been holding off on doing them I don't know why just because we've got so much stuff that I want to I want to put out this sort of went, went, went on the back burner but uh, I forget who it was uh, uh, I think you were you're watching right now you're with your son uh, uh, who is it I forget who it is oh my god uh, but someone requested us to play backgammon and, and I included it in the set of streams that we were doing okay games are a substitute for war yeah yeah i'm 100 percent gonna watch the grandma videos now uh do you guys play 421 in north america i don't know 421 case man i think 421 i don't know 421 okay 
and just to let everyone know again patreon is where i load the stuff keep people posted to a certain degree uh, 42 uh, you can't post links only mods and myself can post links okay so these this video will most likely be uploaded either tomorrow or the next day on youtube and BitChute, and i'll announce it on uh, patreon and if you want to support this project patreon is a fantastic way to support this project we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to watch these live if you're watching this on BitChute or youtube or somewhere else twitch is where you want to be at do you know what 1000 borns is the card game with like traffic lights and no i haven't seen i haven't played that game i know i know a lot of card games but uh i played it let me rephrase i played a lot of card games in in my life but mainly with a deck of 52 cards right uh i do announce everything on twitter gap mines vk and elo okay so i'm active there the video is being uploaded to bitshoot and youtube everything goes on bitshoot almost everything is going on youtube right now okay we're in times of pandemics flatten the curve uh give your healthcare workers a break okay my guest needs attention now she has been very patient thank you very much martin's guest for being patient with our game okay martin thank you very much for taking care of business and uh coming down what time is it? it's like two o'clock in the morning for you brother your guest has been very patient oh my oh my treat her well yes go go greet her 100 percent. i have gloves <laughs> i've heard lotion is really good too it protects you <laughs> hey baked how are you doing how's life and if you wanna uh here's our backgammon playlist i'll post it on chat and the link will be in the description of the video okay if you want to see some of the backgammon videos we put out the first one was us taking a look at my grandma's backgammon board and then we played six rounds with grandma where i videotaped that i had the numbers the rolls showing up so you can follow the game really well because we're collecting data on dice okay here's my grandma <laughs> this is my backgammon partner i've been playing with her since i was a wee 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 little one right probably when i was like six years old seven years old i was playing backgammon with my grandma right so 45 years i've been playing backgammon with grandma now all i see uh is silence of the lambs <laughs> the claws oh no i hope not and uh here's the dice video we put out regarding the probability distribution of dice now okay and uh we are going to link this up with asmr math 100 percent right and we already have in a big way when we looked at the probability distribution of the lice the lotion i know <laughs> i gotta be careful what i say and uh here's the actual probability distribution of dice and we're going to explore this a lot further right in including with backgammon as well as another video we put out which was uh, sort of simplified craps version street craps we ended up calling and it's a great game fun game to play right and at some point we will definitely create a whole series on uh, on craps okay uh fill the whole screen with links i know <laughs> it is what it is like <laughs> looking for old, looking for old. oh no martin don't do it don't well actually maybe do do it it could be fun depending on how you end up using it right you don't have to go silence of the lamb on the on the on the deal right it puts the links on the screen wait stop it's not a need. <laughs> <laughs> aside from that gang uh thank you very much for being here moz thank you for taking care of business we have a live stream tomorrow uh 4 30 and i think we're doing finance economics personal finance and economics i believe um but if we go to our discord let me find that on our discord da -da 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 what's our schedule on discord uh i think it's uh i believe it's 4 30 and we're going to talk about uh, personal finance, investing, and economics, I believe. Oh, no, it's a drop-in math tutoring session tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we're doing math tomorrow. 4.30 p.m. math, okay? If you got math questions, if you need help with math, high school mathematics, drop by, okay? We'll do whatever we can to help you out. 
it starts at 4 30 p.m pacific time my time so if you need help you want to drop by thank you very much case man i totally forgot it was the math session it wasn't the economic session perfect stream as usual thanks for being my uh, boy thank you for uh popping by my 40k needs investment oh my god uh math knowledge is life knowledge people in indeed uh next tree uh, i think it's the next one okay next one is a personal finance two days from now that we're gonna do i think it's 8 30 p.m or something right uh so tomorrow drop in math tutoring session you need help with high school mathematics and a lot of people need help right now because schools are closed and need tutorials and stuff like this if you know someone that needs help pass on the word tell them to drop by we'll try our best to help them out uh, for them to learn the material they need to learn to be able to understand what's coming next year okay if they're continuing on with their math education right and there's a lot of people that are a little bit concerned right now uh, i know some of my students are concerned and i've picked up a few more students because they they need the help okay awesome martin okay gang good evening good morning uh good afternoon wherever you are i hope you're taking care um and uh you know enjoying your life and reducing your stress and realizing that things are going to pass storms come and go and we'll make the best of them okay have a good evening folks be blessed be blessed really fun time guys good night good night good night many of my friends are homeschooled yeah yeah i have i know a lot of people peace enjoy Good night, everyone. Bye. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. And thank you for the subs and the follows, gang.